Adesso avrete l'onore e il piacere soprattutto di assistere alla prima lettura a Venezia di un grandissimo poeta, lui è uno di quelli, uno di quelli della Beat Generation, uno degli ultimi rimasti, vorrei dire sopravvissuti però, rimasti è meglio. E viene da San Francisco, era amico di Kerouac, di Ginsberg, Ferrighetti, ecco, erano quelli lì, e così, Michael McClure. Yes. Conviene tenere in mano ah, sì. ah, in the no. hand. So, here we are. Yes. This is Venice. <laughs> I like it. Uh, this is the 100,000 Poets Reading for Change and going on uh, today is 500, at least 550 poetry readings in I forget how many countries. Uh, all arranged originally by a friend of mine in California who's probably going crazy over the phone today coordinating it all. And uh, first thing I thought of to say is from a friend of mine who's probably the greatest living American poet and of, uh, she is of immediate Italian American descent. Her name is Diane De Prima. And she said, the only thing that, the only, Diane De Prima says, the only war that matters is the war against the imagination. And maybe today will be a trigger that can be pulled to set off the explosion of petals <laughs> and flowers of a new imagination, the beginning of it. The poem I'm about to tell you begins with lines by the American uh, natural historian and mystic and poet Thoreau. That government is best, which governs least. Let me be free of ligaments and tendencies to change myself into a shape that's less than spirit. Let me be a wolf, a caterpillar, a salmon, or an otter sailing in the silver water beneath the rosy sky. Were I a moth or a condor, you'd see me fly. I love this meat of which I'm made. I dive in it to find the simplest vital shape. Ah, here's the child. What's liberty when one cloud starves another? That government is best which governs least. Let me be free of ligaments and tendencies to change myself into a shape that's less than spirit. Let me be a wolf, a caterpillar, a salmon, 
warm and hotter, sailing in the silver water beneath the rosy sky. Or a moth or condor, you'd see me fly. I love this meat of which I'm made. I dive in it to find the simplest vital shape. Ah, here's the child. What's liberty when one class starves another? What's liberty when one class starves another? Well, I can tell that all of you don't know English. And, uh, huh? Just a little bit. Well, that's all you need for this, because there's not much English in this. I love to think of the red-purple rose in the darkness, cool by the night. We are served by machines making satins of sounds. Each blot of sound is a bud or a star. Body eats bouquets of the ears of Easter. Gaudi, eyes, ears, nose, deem thou, rur, vurna, karumi, na drusirch, na thee. The machines are too dull when we are lion poems that move and breathe. When we grew, Andri, Mike taught, Sharu, Srida, no deemed as one, Ethu's row. Hey, thank you. Stay there. <clears throat> no, stay there. <laughs> Hold that cup. Silence the eyes. Silence the eyes. Become the senses. Drive drool from the fresh repugnance. Thou hold. Thou feeling creature, live not for others, but affect thyself from thy enhanced interior, believing what thou carry, thy trillionic multitude of gra, vushes, and silences. Oh, 